Hi guys, it's Jackson here with my first um, gaming news video. So the main thing is that Lizard Squad has gotten hacked. Basically what happened was, they, well actually I'm reading an article right now, it's geek from geek.com. It says, word for word, gamers were miffed over the holidays when a group known as Lizard Squad perpetrated a DDoS attack on Xbox Live in the PlayStation Network, which knocked users offline. Shortly thereafter, Lizard Squad launched a for-hire DDoS service, which was clearly the goal all along. The group certainly got some attention for Lizard Stressor, but it turns out to have been the wrong kind of attention. Lizard Squad itself has been hacked, and the per perpetuators made off with the entire customer database, which was stored in plain text. Wow. The turn of events is particularly juicy considering how the group chastised Microsoft and Sony for being unprepared for its attacks. Apparently, Lizard Squad's members were so busy getting people to pay for DDoS attacks that no one thought to secure the servers. Shockingly, there was even a breach of the customer database a few weeks ago using a very simple scripting tool developed by a computer science student. The only one, the one only pulled out usernames, but that should have told the administrators that something was wrong. It's unclear who has the data, but we do know what they have. Security researcher Brian Kebs, Krebs got a look at the files and confirms over 14,000 customer usernames and passwords have been leaked because they were stored in plain text. There are also support tickets as seen above. It is standard for web services to at least encrypt passwords so they cannot be associated with the usernames in the event of a data breach. From the data we also know that a few hundred of those people uh, who signed up actually paid Bitcoin to use their service. Minecraft servers were their favorite tar targets of Lizard Stressor users, based on the addresses listed in the database. The address of users who requested the attacks were also poorly concealed and could easily be recovered. Bad news for anyone who used Lizard Stressor to hit someone else's Minecraft server. In all, Lizard Squad has earned about $11,000 US dollars from the tool in the few weeks it has existed. Lizard squad members have already been taken into custody by law enforcement so i'm sure they have more important things to worry about than protecting their users so what did you expect from guys who advertise their service by ddosing sony and microsoft okay the irony here is just kind of incredible it makes me just laugh i was when i found um this article online um i get all my news from bing.com when i um that's my bleh not important but oh my gosh <clears throat> one second <clears throat> this just makes me laugh so hard the irony of the situation and lizard squad getting hacked and so yes they have been arrested thankfully but um yeah so yeah, that just makes me laugh, because I wasn't on Xbox during the holidays, but, wow. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for Lizard Squad. Other news, the nin new Nintendo 3DS XL is releasing in, in the Americas on February 13th. Um... I'm a little bit disappointed in Nintendo for not Nintendo of America for not releasing the regular new 3DS because I think the Fates Place thing is cool and I like the system to fit in my pocket. So that I just didn't really get and was um, a bit kind of upset by and it'll cost 199 US dollars so basically 200 dollars not the cheapest thing and not the most expensive thing ever. But, um, I think it's awesome. The C-Stick looks really cool. Um, from the handheld, from the hands-on videos I've seen on YouTube, it looks pretty cool. That, and it doesn't really move like the circle pad. It just, um, uses very little pressure that you just apply. And like the circle pad, the farther you, um, push the circle pad, the more it registers. So it's the same thing. The more pressure you put on the C-Stick, it'll go faster. And, <clears throat> Nintendo said they wanted it to mimic the C buttons on the Nintendo 64 and the C stick on the um, 
GameCube controller. So I think it's a good idea, but um, instead of using the Circle Pad Pro on your 3DS, but for games like already existing games like Smash Bros, um, it'll, it'll be awesome to get better um, attacks. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Also, um, other changes to it. The, the home button is in the middle, like the 3DS, but, um, one second, sorry. <coughs> but the start and select buttons are on the side, and the stylus, cartridge, and, um, power button is on the bottom. So, but I like having the stylus back on the bottom, because it was, I didn't like having to go to the back of the console. But also there are other changes. There is now Z R and Z L, Z R and Z L buttons, as they call it, and Nintendo calls it. Basically, this what this does is one second, sorry. <coughs> it's just more buttons and more features. But they wanted to put it. They put them side by side to make less space to um take up less space, which I like. And also, it supports Amiibo, which I don't really know how to react to that, because I haven't gotten an Amiibo yet on my Wii U. So that was interesting. So that is cool, I have to admit. And the 3D, it has face tracking 3D, so it uses um, the front-facing camera to track your face. So no matter where you are, it tracks your face, so the 3D is perfect. And I never use the 3D on my 3DS, partially for that reason, because you have to have it right in the center. Or, and if you move your head for just slight, it, you focus on the 3D. So like if I'm in Mario Kart, I probably run into a wall or slam into a banana or, or shell. So I like that feature, even though I regularly do not use the 3D. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think about the new Nintendo 3DS XL. Uh, also, next news, <coughs> Club Nintendo is shutting down. Um, I wasn't too surprised by this, but I'm glad that they said that they are releasing another loyalty program at a later date. But, um, they said the re- but it was really starting to get wind down. I- re- I have like 570 coins, so I'm almost a platinum member, but the rewards were getting really bad. The only re- physical reward I got was a Donkey Kong poster set, and I got a few download codes for games, but the rewards are bad, at least in North America, and it really was just winding down. So, any games released after January 20th will not be a- you will not be able to register them into Club Nintendo. Um, the last day I think you can register coins into is March 31st. Then all counts and coins are deleted J- June 30th, 2015. But in February, they will add a lot of physical and digital rewards for you. Just um, just for you to use up all your coins so you can um, get all your stuff before your everything is deleted on June 30th. So... Um, what else? Splatoon is going to be released in May, which I am very excited about. So, um, but yeah, thanks for watching. This is my first really news video. Eh, actually, I'll definitely release more, but let me think if there's any other news. Um, Mario Party 10 will be coming out in March. And Kirby's Rainbow's eh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse will be coming out soon, so I'm very excited for that. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. And also, I'm not really gonna get. I don't plan to get any Wii, new Wii U games within the next month, but I definitely will at a later date. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.